What's going on everybody, it's Dilmer and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about Niantic Labs and what their lightship is all about, which is basically an augmented reality framework that is going to allow augmented reality developers to create more immersive experiences. And when I say that, these experiences are gonna have some really, really cool features and I'm really excited about the actual timeline of the new features that they're gonna be bringing on. So just to give you an overview of what's available currently, you can do either depth and occlusion. You can also use what's called semantic classifiers. You can also do multiplayer features, which is something that I've been getting a lot of questions on ever since I started working on AR Foundation videos. And the other thing that you can also do is you can also do real-time mapping. And this real-time mapping doesn't work like the real-time mapping that you have seen with LiDAR on devices such as the iPad Pro or devices such as the iPhone 12 Pro. This is actually running through a neural network and it's going to allow you to do LiDAR type detection without a LiDAR by using what they call a neural network. So they're using machine learning to be able to detect, you know, the area, the surroundings, and there's a couple of requirements, but I'm gonna be walking you through some of those requirements. So let's jump into my computer and start looking at it. So this is Lightship ARDK, and currently this is something that I really wanted to show you based on the AR Foundation videos that I've been making. So I think this is going to give you, if you're thinking about, you know, creating an AR experience, it's gonna give you a lot of cool features. So some of the features that they provide is real-time mapping, and I talked to you about that at the beginning of the video. But the cool thing with this is this doesn't require a lighter camera. They're running through a neural network, and it's creating, you know, it's creating a mesh of the physical world in by using machine learning which is really cool because if you remember on the videos that I made with LiDAR it, the LiDAR only comes in the iPhone Pro or the iPhone 12 Pro and not everybody has one of those phones so if you're considering you know bringing more gamers more more users into the experiences that you're building it's cooler if you use this tool set because they're going to be and they're supporting iPhone and above and high-end Android devices released since 2018 so I think that's going to give you a bigger pull if you want to create anything you know anything like this that knows that physical world so you can see you know for those of you who don't know what real-time mapping is is basically creating a mesh of the surroundings so as you guys can see here there there's also balls you know colliding against the wall there's a ball colliding against the table so it just makes the experience a lot more immersed because not only we are seeing a 3D object in the space, but you can also see how it bounces the physics as if it would in the real world. The other one that I'm really interested on learning and also you know, playing with is gonna be multiplayer. You guys know that I've been focusing on netcode if you're seeing some of those videos. And by the way, if you wanna look at those videos, I'm gonna be putting those above me so you guys can you know, can experiment with those in Unity. But with the Lightship development kit, they provide multiplayer features and those multiplayer features are built for augmented reality experiences. And that is a little bit different than just using multiplayer because it not only needs to know that you have another user connector. So if you're using peer-to-peer -peer communication, you have a server and a client, you also need to know where that person is relative to you, to the real world, because it needs to know, you know, the space in augmented reality. So in this version, they say that they support up to eight players, but they also say that for an optimal multiplayer experience, you need to have at least two to three users and the session needs to be from one to five minute sessions. So, this tells me that this is very early on and they're testing some of those features, but I would say, you know, even though they have that disclaimer here, I would say just go ahead and test it because this is a feature that I know, you know, many of us will need when we're building anything with augmented reality. The other feature that I'm really excited about is semantic segmentation. So normally in experiences that you're building where you need to know what is it that you're looking at through the camera, in this case, they're looking at the grass and they're collecting grass. In this case, they are collecting the trees. So it's grabbing pieces of wood, which is really cool. And then if you want to detect the clouds, you can also do that. So normally you would need computer vision professionals to do that. Not only that, there's also occlusion. Let's say that you wanted to put somebody in front of a tree and then make sure that that person is occluded correctly. So those kind of things can get really, really complicated when it comes to, you know, if you're trying to get developers to help you out and build those experiences, I think those can get really complex. So some of the features that we just covered, depth and occlusion, they're gonna be free before May 1st, 2022. Anything after May 1, 2022 is still going to be free, which is really cool. So we don't have any pricing in there. Real-time meshing, also free. And then after May 1st, 2022, it's still going to be free. If you look at semantic segmentation, which is really powerful, then also it's still gonna be free and then also free after that day. And then I didn't cover development tools, but development tools are really powerful in 
this framework because you can basically test everything within Unity. You don't have to leave Unity and deploy to the device. They provide mocking tools that are gonna allow you to do you know, most of these features right within the Unity editor. So they're still gonna be free before May 2022 and then after May 2022, they're going to be still free. So when we talk about multiplayer features, I'm really excited about it because we can experiment with them you know, for free. Anything before May 1st, 2022, it's not gonna have a cost associated with it. But after the May 1st, 2022, there's gonna be some costs and limits imposed. And, and that makes sense because that's gonna be more of production ready. So currently the monthly active users of multiplayer service after that day, it's going to be from one to 50K monthly active users per app. That's gonna be the limit. And then if you get 10,000 users per month, that's gonna be completely free. They also have some limits on how much data transfer it's going to be allowed per monthly active user. And then anything beyond that is gonna be, you know, this price that you guys see right here. So you can look at some of the key features. You can, you know, go through the getting started guide that is gonna walk you through, you know, how you develop uh, AR experience by using Unity and the augmented reality dev kit. And then if you go and download it, you can download it in here and this is basically gonna be, you know, something that works with iOS and Android and it's a Unity plugin. I haven't even downloaded it yet and I haven't gone through the examples. So just make sure that you check out the ARDK toolkit that is available for Unity. There's also some development requirements in here and I'm sure that some of these are going to kind of relate to what you need today for AR Foundation. But I'm gonna be going through some more information about these on the next video. We'll go ahead and download it and, and play with the SDK and then I'll start showing you and teaching you some of the features features of how to use it to build your own augmented reality experiences. So that's everything that I wanted to show you. If you guys have any additional questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.